Hello everyone, so welcome to my new video. In this video, we'll discuss about how to change the blocks information uh, and we can use our own uh, blocks information. So in our previous video, we have discussed about the file structure and the code structure of a plugins and a block. So we know that all of the information about the blocks is kept uh, inside a block.json file. And this is our block.json. And you can see this is the name of the block. Uh, this is a static portion. You can keep this version. And the title for this block is the first block. This is category icon description. And there are some other options also available here. So let us try to understand the difference between the name and title. Actual name is a fixed uh, data. If you change this data, I mean, if you change the name of this block, then you will not find the block in your editor. Uh, for example, you can see this is our first block we are using here. And it is working fine at the front end also. But if you change the name of this block, like try to make it dummy block and save, I have already in this, uh, started my server. So keep in mind, you have to start your server with npm start uh, otherwise you will not see any change here so i have changed the name of this block if i refresh i will see it is broken because it is saying that there is no block inside this site uh, with the name first block actually there is no block right now right uh, so keep in mind that if you change the name then it will broken if your user are already using this block so keep in mind you don't need to change this uh, name rapidly because it is fixed but you can change the title because title doesn't have any impact uh, on your site for example let us try to keep it the first block but we want to change the name, uh, title for the block like we want to make it the dummy block now if we refresh to see and you can see it is working fine there is no error but if you go down and try to find out the dummy block now the title is changed but the name of this block is fixed but you can change the title it doesn't have any impact right okay so let us try to uh, understand the category there are uh, different score categories or default categories uh, given by the wordpress uh, like common category text category media category design widgets embeds and if you want to check out in the editor we can see there is a text media design wizards theme and the embeds so these are the core category are these are the default category given by the wordpress or gutenberg i can also create the custom category and we'll also learn how to create custom category in the next uh, in the upcoming videos so don't worry about this one also uh, try to uh, uh, change the category for this block right now it is under the widgets category we want to change this and we want to keep it in the media category so, or we can call it in the design category let us try to keep it in media category so if you change the we are category names like we want to make it the media and refresh uh, and you can see our blog is under the media category so it is not a problem at all i think so now come to this icon icon and this is the icon for this blog uh, every blog has a icon so that we can easily identify the blog uh, by default it is using the dash icon so you can use the dash icon if you like this one uh, if you source in the google for the dash icon dash icons and you will see the resource for the dash icon So you can see these are the dash icons so let us try to pick a icons for our blog for example we want to choose this one plugins so we have to just keep the uh, we have to just keep the uh, take the name admin plugins 
and if you replace this one all right now this is smiley so let us try to replace this one with admin plugins and try to refresh yeah and you can see our icon is changed we can also use a custom svg icon for our blog so let's try to add a custom svg icon for our blog let us try to source an svg icon for example i can use the bootstrap icon bootstrap svg icons if you source for the bootstrap icon you can see all of this bootstrap icon let us try to pick a icon for example yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm, which icon we can pick? For example, I want to pick this icon. So this is our uh, clockwise arrow. So this is our SVG. Let us try to pick this SVG. And if you want to put this SVG inside this area, it will not work because SVG is not supported in this area uh, with this format. So how can we use this SVG? Let us try to remove this icon from here. And now go to the index.js and we have discussed about this object and we have told about this that we can set any kinds of setting here. So let us try to add the icon here. So now it is an SVG. So in case of SVG, it is just going to be an object. I will parse the source and this source is our SVG source okay and you can see this is our SVG but we don't need to use this class because this class is coming from the bootstrap we just want to take the SVG code only so this is our SVG code now let us try to replace this one this is not our uh jsx format uh you, can, you know that uh react uh, support the sp uh, jsx not the pure html so you should know about the difference between a uh, normal html and jsx so i think you know about this one because uh if you are already familiar with the react you know about jsx you can search on Google about the JSX. Okay, so I think you know about this one. We can also use any online converter to change our statement to JSX. For example, we can search on Google HTML to JSX. We'll get a lot of information uh, about this and tools. Let us try to use this first one. And if we paste this uh, HTML, and you can see this is our output JSX. And let us try to understand the difference between this one. Most different is this fill rule, and this is fill rule. There is no dash because JSX doesn't support any dash. So you have to use in camel case. So I think uh, I think you know about this one, right? So let us try to copy and paste the code here. Now go to the editor. This is our editor. And try to refresh, and we can see this is our custom icon, and it is working fine. So I think you understood how to use a custom icon for a uh, custom blog. So let us add some more options for our blog icon. For example, this is our source. We can pass a foreground color and background color. For example, we can use background. Try to pick a color like this one. And go ahead, try to refresh. And you can see there is a different background. We can also use a foreground color. For example, let us try to move a normal dash icon. It can be our admin plugins like this. So this is our background. Let us try a foreground color. Uh, like it can be FFF uh, white color. 
we are taking the dash icon for a better look and you can see this white color is our foreground color and this blue color is our background color so you can use the icon source icon foreground color and background color now go to the description when we insert this block we can see at the end this area i mean where we really add uh, some more information like select this one and you can see this is the icon this is the title and this is our description for the blog this description also visible here and you can see you will find out a uh, preview and under this preview you will get this description title hover and you can see this is the description right so let us try to change the description from our blog to json we can say a simple word like chorus poetry save and try to refresh and if you go to here and you can see now the description is changed let us try to select from the list view and you can see the description is changed so a better description is uh you should try to keep a description short, short description so that the user can understand the functionality of the block it is really helpful for the users so we have changed the title icon category and description these are the most important part for the blog so i think you understood all of this we will also discuss about example supports and some other uh, informations uh, about the blogs in the upcoming videos so these are uh, these are our basic information that we need to start any blog development so i think i understood this matter in the next video we'll discuss about how can we start adding the more functionality to our blogs thank you